What's going on everyone and welcome back to Biomutant. Today's quest is to show you how to unlock the Bat Nam Nam mount, which is a very, very cool gliding marsupial. If you're playing Biomutant and want to stay up to date on all of the guides, tips, secrets, and more, all you got to do is tap that subscribe button. So that way when those videos come out, they go straight to you. Now, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I honestly do appreciate you guys. And let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so without a doubt, the Bat Nam Nam is probably one of the coolest mounts or tools I've found so far in Biomutant, especially if you're looking to glide long distance from high mountain tops. The Bat Nam Nam allows you to do so and is an excellent choice, not to mention it can be spawned at any time, just like some of your other vehicles you have earned before. All right, so first you need to find Pebble, who is hanging out northwest of the Bionucleus 6D location at a location called Knack Hill, as shown right here on your map. Once here, you'll notice Pebble standing in front of a wall in which he states he needs to find some safe climbing spots and asks if you'll be willing to help. This is the first out of two quests that is needed to unlock the Bat Nam Nam, however they are relatively easy and straightforward. Now for the first location you just need to climb up the wall behind Pebble and then at the top in front of you will be more yellow markers on another wall. Climb across these and that will be the first marker for the side quest. Just as a side note, every place you climb will have a treasure chest in a hammock so don't forget to loot those. Now location number two is far northeast of the first as indicated by the side quest marker as shown on the screen right here so just mark it and then go ahead and fast travel to a location nearby now this one is pretty simple as when you get there you'll need to look for more yellow indicators on the wall and then climb up them to reach the spot the third location is in mushimash Meyer, directly east of you as shown right here on the map so go ahead and fast travel to a nearby location if you can now go ahead and follow your marker until you reach a small overlook and follow the yellow indicators up until the third is collected now return to pebble who will be very grateful for your services and offer to fix your crowbar which will raise it to level 2. Now this crowbar is very very important for some locations where you need a level 2 crowbar instead of a level 1 to open certain doors where superb loot is. Now if you talk to Pebble again you can offer your services again to him by asking if he needs any more help in which he will state he does and this time it involves finding good zipline locations so just accept this second quest from him. Now the first location will be north of you in a little southeast of a place called Ranchu Make Glow as shown right here on the map. Once here, you'll notice that there are two ropes in parallel next to each other. The one that is not tied to the tree is the one that you'll need to cross over, so make your way around and up top to access this rope. Then you can zip line down the other rope, starting from the tree up top. Our next location takes us southeast of Bionucleus 6D, right here behind Mercadorpus Outpost, if I even pronounced that right. But either way, you can fast travel right here if you have it unlocked. Now once here, you just need to zip line down from the tree side and location number two will be complete. Our last location is in Verp Fields as shown right here on the map. The actual location below the zip line is called Shaftaloo, so feel free to complete the area objectives if you want, but the zip line will be at the top of Shaftaloo on a hill with a rope going down into the top half of Shaftaloo. Now once done with all three zip lines, make your way to Pebble, who will be very, very appreciative of your assistance and ask you to climb all the way up top for a reward. So make your way up the yellow indicators behind Pebble and continue to follow them up the mountain. The second part of the indicators will be in front of you after climbing behind Pebble, so cross these and then make your way up. Up to the next set of yellow indicators. From here you need to go left and follow the mountain side until you reach another set of yellow climbing indicators. Once up these, take the zip line that is at the top and standing in the nest will be the Bat Nam Nam for you to have. Just jump right on it and then go ahead and try it out in front of you. So there we have it, how to unlock the Bat Nam Nam which is a gliding mount or tool in Biomutant. I do hope this video was helpful and if so, dropping a like will help share it with others so make sure you do so if you found it helpful. Also if you'd like to stay up to date with more Biomutant tips, guys and more be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of those coming very very soon my name is silverback our quest is complete and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace